Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video I will talk about the failed payments on Stripe and what we can do uh, for those failed payments and how can we implement uh, webhooks for those specific failed payments events. Uh, if you have not seen my previous video with the implementation of the webhooks, uh, I think you should have a look at uh, this video first because this current video is about the failed, failed payments only. So uh, I've implemented uh, Stripe for a couple of months now and I realize that uh, for around 10 to 15 percent of the payments uh, they are failed. Basically the user, uh, the clients try to input the, his uh, credit card and then he tried to pay but he failed. Um, the reason of this failure is not really known. Uh, the, the reason that is written on Stripe is uh, that the, the issuing bank, bank uh, refused to, to pay. So it's blocked by the banks of the issuer. So you can see here uh, all the failed payments. You see cancelled, 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 cancelled. But uh, don't be so worried because some, uh, like for example, this, this cancelled, this cancelled, cancel, it's the same uh, customer that try again and try with a different card but still keep uh, keep failing. So if I just check uh, like all my payments, I go to the next page. You can see cancelled cancel so to cancel around like 10 percent 10 to 15 percent of the of the, the payment are cancelled so the question is what to do with those customer uh, for which uh, we have failed payments uh, how to handle that how to get notified when we get a failed payment so first thing is that there, there is no even if you implement stripe on your uh, if you uh, install stripe on your smartphone you don't get any notification when there there is failed, failed payments you only get notified when there is a successful payment that's the first thing so um, what i did is uh, quite good because uh, i managed to implement a workflow for well payments for failed payments i'm going to show you how so first thing you need to go to uh, developer again so that's the developer the developer uh, page is where you can set up your webhooks so if you don't know how to implement the webhooks go to my previous video so this is my uh, webhooks here so it's in php okay and you can see here that all the payments you can see that i have now payment that are completed 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 but i also have uh, events in case the payment are failed. So in order in order to catch those uh, those events, you need to add them into your existing uh, uh, webhooks, or you can create another webhooks for your uh, for the failed payment. On my, on my uh, in my case, I've just upgraded amended uh, my existing webhooks, and I'll show you how. So you go here, update detail, and here make sure that. You have the successful payment, which are this one, completed. You see, check session completed and check session asynchronous payment succeeded. And I added those three um, failed payment events, the payout failed, the pay intent payment failed, and the checkout session async payment failed. Right? Everything that was failed, basically, I've added it. So what, what does it, um, so once you do that, uh, you've updated your endpoint and all those events will be sent to your um, to your webhooks PHP file on your server. On my in my in my case, I implemented Stripe on my VPS server. Go to my previous video to know how to implement uh, the uh, Stripe webhooks. So basically, that's it. Once once that's uh, done, then the event will be sent to the PHP. So be very careful now how to implement the the code. Basically, that's how I um, updated my code. So this, the beginning is exactly the same. So we catch the events, okay? So I put everything, every time you see logs, it's because I added my log file in order to trace everything because I'm in a kind of debug mode. Even if it's been a few months that I, uh, that I implemented Stripe, I still want to be able to, 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 to debug in case there is a problem. So this part is the same, creation of the event. But this will be created for every event that is sent from the webhook. So I added the fake payment, so this will be uh, triggered. Then 
the event type. So this one I've updated. You can see that before there was like succeeded and completed and now I've added uh, the, the fade payment. But you can see that all the events, you see the session is exactly the same. So actually I do a switch case here, but this is irrelevant. I could just, just do um, for all the cases, I can do just session, uh, dollar session, the variable dollar session equals event data and objects. So that's done. Now, in case of fade payment, I've added this block. So the question is, how do you want to automate in case of failed payment. Given that, you will have the email of the customer that tried to pay but failed. And you may have also the phone number. So what can you, what do you want to do? You want to apologize maybe? Okay, fair enough, you apologize, uh, sorry. Uh, can you try again with another card? Maybe give some instruction to try another card? Or you can uh, propose alternate, alternative um, payment methods. For example, uh, pay by PayPal, if you have a pay, PayPal also. Or pay by wire, like make a wire and you give your IBAN so that the client can pay just making a bank transfer. That was my choice. Okay. So, um, so what I will do, I, I will just send an email. So I just retrieve um, all the, the, the information. So like the email, I check, all, I, uh, I uh, gather also the phone number and the failure message. Okay. And I will just send an email. Okay. Um, it's, it's in French here because most of my, my customers are, are French. So I say, Hey guys, there was a failed payment. Okay. The amount of the failed payment was this one. So you know that it's not a, it's not a scam. Okay. Because I, I get also the, the, uh, the amount here. Uh, be careful because the way to retrieve the email and the phone number, etc., is not exactly the same node when there is a successful payment and when there is a failed payment. It's not exactly the same. You can see here that is billing, for example, the email, it's under data uh, zero, so first, billing details email. And if it's a successful payment, it's not the same, it's customer detail email. So it took me some time no, to, uh, to, to understand to understand that. Just uh, log the full JSON uh, object and you will see uh, where, where are the information you want to retrieve. So I have that and I write an, an email. Hey, uh, can you try again with a card? First instruction. Second, if you, don't, if you want to, uh, to pay by bank transfer, this is my IBAN. Okay, so this is fully automated and I don't have to do anything. I mean CC of the of the email, so I use um, a mail function, the the fun uh, the mail function from PHP, and that's it. Nothing nothing else to do. And I notice that since I'm doing that, I receive bank transfer. And before, what what would the client do if he failed to pay? Basically, he will do to a, he will probably go to a competitor. Most of the time, he will not even contact you. He will not send an email. Nothing. And if you're not if you're not notified then you don't know because you don't you don't go or uh, every day to uh, to stripe to check uh, to check the the message so um that may increase your um, your uh, your revenue by 10 to 15 percent very easily just by proposing an alternate payment method and just by sending automatically email in case of fake payment that's uh, that's that's just uh, great yeah Okay, guys, uh, that's it. I will add the code uh, in the description of the video. Uh, and then uh, if you have any questions, just write in the comments. And if you are implementing your, your, implementing your Stripe webhooks a different way, don't hesitate to uh, explain to, uh, to me in the description of the video. I wish you a very happy day. Bye-bye.